we've got the potential for a really nice sunset over that way. Well, I just cannot find a scene to do justice to it. Good afternoon everyone, thank you for joining me again. Good afternoon everyone, thank you for joining me again. Today I'm at the location of the lighthouse at Santa Pola. The lighthouse is about there, I think. Now, I have been here before. I did an early morning shoot here, oh, quite a while ago. Um, I actually went out onto over here you can probably see behind me and I'll show you in a bit more detail in a minute. There's a, a kind of a curved observation platform, metal observation platform. And I did some shots from that platform looking across at the lighthouse at sunrise. Uh, and it was a nice shoot and I got some nice images. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to that up there now. I am going to go and check out the opposite side of the lighthouse kind of looking back to where I am now to see if there's any compositions there for sunset. But my gut feeling is that the lighthouse isn't gonna be my subject today. I've come here today basically to do some exploring because on this kind of cliff top, there are some remains from the Civil War, Spanish Civil War, anti-aircraft batteries and bunkers. Uh, there's no guns here, I don't think. I think it's just the pits for them. But I want to have a look around, see them. There's also some woodland around here, so I just want to have a look and see what I can find for a potential shoot uh, a bit later on this afternoon. Uh, conditions have surprised me. It's a lot cloudier than I was expecting. So that could be good, could be bad. We'll have to see. But we'll have a little walk around and explore first. Okay, so I've come over to the other side of the lighthouse. I was hoping there might be a composition from this side that would work, but I'm not really seeing it. There's a, a fence all the way round, and I can't really get a view that looks very interesting. It's a shame, because there's some really nice clouds over there. It's also really windy over this side. So, interesting thing about this lighthouse, the lighthouse itself dates from, I think, about 1860, 1870, something like that. But the tower, the square tower in the middle of the lighthouse that the light sits on top of, that was actually one of the old mid-16th century watchtowers. So that dates to about 1550, I think. And they refurbished it, built the light on top, and obviously put some extra building around the side. Obviously it was the perfect vantage point. Just a shame about this fence. Okay, so I've come across one of the old gun mounting points I guess it's down here but what a shame 
and it's all been graffitied. What a shame, piece of history. And it's just, I just don't understand it. I really don't understand it. What a shame. And here's a second one of these big gun emplacements. The guns in here must have been huge. The sound when they went off must have been incredible. But again, covered in graffiti. Which really is just such a shame. Such a shame. Okay, so I've come across this bunker. I'm not exactly sure what it was used for, but it's got this, also this uh, geodesic mark, so it must be the highest point on this piece of land, I guess, here. Uh, it seems to have mostly escaped the morons who like to graffiti things. There's a little bit just around one side here. I really like, actually, this sort of bulbous shape at the front with these slots in. Okay, so, so far, I've been a bit disappointed with what I've managed to find. I was really hoping those big coastal gun pits were gonna give me an interesting composition for today. And that they would look pretty good if it wasn't for all that graffiti. I mean, seriously, what's the matter with people? Still, I've got about an hour until sunset still. So I'm gonna carry on looking around and just see if I can find something. It does look as if we might even be in for an interesting sunset. It would be a real shame if I can't find a decent composition to make use of it. Still got time, let's keep my fingers crossed. Okay, I've actually found what I believe were the pits for the anti-aircraft guns. Um, they're obviously a lot smaller than the big coastal defense guns. Uh, just basically dug out of the of the ground. I think we might even be able to get down into the uh, into the pit so we're gonna have a little look. this tree in amongst all of this woodland I really like the shape of it I also like the fact that if you come in and look at it in here I don't know how well it's coming out here but the branches are almost white they're such a very pale gray and the, the the pine needles are all quite a vibrant green I've walked all the way around it and this is the best angle for for the shape and I'm shooting actually directly towards the sun, which is behind the tree and actually sort of partly hidden by some clouds at the moment. I really wish I could find a better way to isolate it, but I can't. So I've set up to do a shot. 16 millimeters. I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, because that sun is quite bright in there, 
Um, it's very, very contrasty, so I'm going to shoot one exposure for the highlights and one for the shadows, and then one in the middle, and then I'll merge them later. Actually, what I ended up doing was shooting four exposures. One two hundredth of a second, one one hundredth of a second, one fiftieth of a second, and one twenty-fifth of a second. So basically four exposures a stop apart. And uh, we'll see how that goes in terms of merging it later. And whether it works as an image. It might not. But it just appealed to me and I've not had a lot of luck with other things. Okay, so frustration or possibly desperation is starting to creep in. We've got the potential for a really nice sunset over that way in probably half an hour, maybe a bit less. Well, I just cannot find a scene to do justice to it. And what I'm gonna to have to do in a minute is bite the bullet and just go for whatever I can find because otherwise I'm going to miss it completely and there's quite an interesting view over this direction that I'm heading but there's power lines running across the scene and, and small pylons running across here which ruins the view from here and there's not a great composition anyway and if I head over there by the time I get there I'm probably going to be too late, so no, I'm not going to go over there. I'm going to see what else I can find back the way I've come. Okay, so we're nearly at sunset. I'm starting to get colour in the sky now, and I've basically had to make a choice. I could either carry on wandering around, but I wasn't finding anything, so I quickly raced back to this bunker that I was at, looking at earlier, and I'm going to do a shot from here looking towards the direction of sunset because that looks like probably the only place we're going to get colour at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang around here, take a few shots as the sky changes, see how the colours work out. Just watching the way the sky is changing, I've moved around a little bit to the, to the side and I'm going to do a shot here. The problem with this one is there's a big sign over there which isn't very nice and I think it's probably too big to take out in post. And I'm going to flip the camera vertical which will let me exclude that sign, give me a different view on it, more of the sky. I honestly don't know how I feel about today. We spend so often we wish for beautiful sunsets and it's so frustrating to be in the wrong place when we actually get them. But you have to make the best of what you've got. So I'm hoping that's what I did. Of course, I took a couple of other images first. So, uh, Hopefully they'll work out okay as well. Right now I'm heading back to the car and the drive home. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have and you'd like to see more of my stuff, don't forget about hitting subscribe unless you're already a subscriber. In which case, thank you very much. Likes and shares are always very much appreciated. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch. So, until the next video, thank you very much. Bye.